Hey guys, welcome back to the main event, Daniel. And uh, yeah, tonight we're uh, going back to WCW for Slamboree 1995, a Legends reunion. That's like the whole thing, wasn't it? That's the Slamboree gimmick. They just always brought, like, it was like they had their Hall of Fame that night and then they would have, like, old guys wrestle. So, uh, ain't no different tonight. So, anyways, uh, this is May 21st, 1995, at the Bayfront Arena in St. Petersburg, Florida. And we're in front of, like, 7,000 fans. And the main event, it's uh, Ric Flair and Vader with the legendary enforcer Arn Anderson in their corner going up against Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage with the Mouth of South Jimmy Hart in their corner and the Renegade. So, there you go. Uh, so let's get into the match. This is of course all, you know, the feud between these guys has been building and building, you know, for pay-per-views now. Like, literally, uh, I will say they're, 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 uh, they got a lot of good continuity there, like literally. Vader and uh, Flair against Hogan and Savage has been building for months now. So, uh, so we're getting this epic tag team match right here. The first thing right off the bat, I, I, I think it's just funny that they never really, uh, like, Renke never comes out with anybody. He always comes out by himself after the fact. Like, the only manager I know that won't come out before or with his people, he's like, ah, I come out by himself. And the bad thing is, it's not the Ultimate Warrior, so he doesn't even have like, and like they don't even give him like Ultimate Warrior knockoff music. That's the bad thing. Like I don't know what the hell the theme. This was not the same theme they had last month or the last pay per view. This this theme is just ridiculous. Anyways, uh, yeah, he comes out to this ridiculous song and he's amped up and everything. He's there to keep on it, and then Anderson just looks so frightened. And I'm like, really, the Renegade? You're, you're scared of the Renegade? Come on. Um, yeah. <laughs> The Renegade. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, match gets underway. I'll tell you now, dude, Renegade just looks helpless. And, like, if you ever watch this match, just watch the Renegade. Like, he just looks useless out there. Uh, a lot of times, Anderson, like, don't get me wrong, he does go after Anderson a few times. He does. Like, whenever, like, it's clearly like they're double teaming somebody, like, he doesn't even get involved. He'll run over there and just like, he'll, he'll, he'll like, run all the way over and he'll stand and he'll just stop and he'll just look at you. And you're like, dude, make a move. Like, what are you waiting for? Pounce. No, didn't pounce. At one point, there was a stare down between Vader and Renegade. Now, I know, like, from our smarky smart fucking uh, brains, uh, it's telling us, like, this would just be a clusterfuck. You know, Renegade can't wrestle, obviously. Vader would just beat the shit out of him. But. Kayfabe, the little mark inside of me that dwells within my heart, is like, yeah, I want to see Renegade and Vader go at it. So, like, they're, they just double team, and I think, they're, I think they probably use well, I don't remember. They, they, they beat down Savage. Savage is down. So, over, you know, Renegade moves to rescue, I think he takes out Anderson, and he's just staring down Vader. Well, Flair is on the apron, and he, like, walks over and gives, like, this weak ass kick to the Renegade, and the Renegade turns attention to him real quick, but it doesn't do anything. And I'm thinking, dude, that was the Ultimate Warrior. Where was this tour of everybody? Like, flat out. Like, at this point, why are we not including this guy in, like, a six-man tag match? Like, you could have made this a six-man tag match. You could have protected him like they did protected the, the Warrior back in the day. Just have him on the apron most of the time. It could have worked. Instead, we get Renegade just not do. Like, a lot of times, Arn Anderson will just interfere, and then Renegade just kind of hawks on over there. After the fact, and then at that point, Ring is already gone. It's just, it, it, it looks bad. It really does. It, 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 this is the one match where you're kind of realizing, like, wow, Renegade is a complete joke. Uh, even though he wouldn't win the TV title, very next pay per view, so what do I know, I guess. Anyways, um, yeah, the match between you know, these four, it's, I mean, it's good stuff right here. Uh, man, Flair and, and Savage, man, Flair is putting those chops in. I just love it because this is like every now and then you get like this one. Particularly loud chop from Flair. And Savage just breaks out and throws a chop back. Almost like he's like, fucker, that hurt. I'm going to hit you back. You're, you're getting one back if you keep laying him in like this. Uh, Vader, tear. I know Vader does kind of like go softer on Hogan. So I'm sure he was probably talked to at one point. Like, hey, you can't just be beating the shit out of Hogan like you do everybody else. There's a few punches you're just like, oh, Vader, you're softballing it, buddy. You're softballing it. Can't be doing that. Uh, he does hit. The fucking moonsault, finally. I have yet, never hit, seen him hit a moonsault. I'm sure he has. I'm sure he's squashed tons of jobbers with that. But every time I see him on pay-per-view, he'll usually hit the Vader bomb. 
And then he'll go for the moonsault, and he just misses every fucking time. Like, he's never hit Hogan a bear bomb, or a moonsault, but he hit a uh, Savage moonsault. I'm like, holy shit, he actually got some air. Um, anyways, the match concludes when, uh, I think at this point, Vader and Savage are outside battling, and it's uh, Flair and Hogan putting on an epic clinic, and uh, Arn Anderson gets involved. Anderson gets involved twice. It's funny, because the first time he... Like jump, yeah. He pulls someone down or something like that. He trips him or something like that. But it just backfires. Like he gets him on the apron and just gets hammered. And it's just like he interferes here and he it also back. Like he interferes twice and it backfires each time. Like when he interfered the first time, I thought that was gonna be the end of the match because it was all building. And then he interferes. And I was like, oh, here we go, end of the match. And it just doesn't happen. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then we got a few more minutes. And then he interferes again and it backfires again. And then it does finish the match. Uh, anyways, Anderson runs in. He has Hogan up and. Flair goes to the top rope to perform a double axe handle, double axe handle of doom. Hogan moves, Anderson eats it, and of course he gets dragged out by the Renegade. Uh, Hogan, body slam, big boot, leg drop. You know you know what Hogan does after that. Uh, one, two, three, Hogan and Savage win. So Hogan, Savage, Renegade, and Jimmy Hart all celebrate inside the ring. However, it's a short-lived celebration because uh, the heels are attacking. Like, Hogan and Renegade are just quickly uh, just demolished outside. And it's funny because we end with, uh, after the dust kind of settles or whatever, we end with um, Arn Anderson and Flair working over Savage in the ring. And that, this means that Renegade, who's been no-selling like a motherfucker for like two, three months now, it just clobbered and just down. Like, he's just like, ah, oh, I can't get up now. I got, I got I, one clubbing blow. Like, Hogan, I was sort of by. He gets attacked. He, he did just go through a match. But, like, Renegade also gets hit. I, mean, I know, we're setting up the pay-per-view, so I get it. Like, don't pretend like I don't know. I, I get why we're doing this. I'm just saying from a kayfabe, you know, what 10-year-old Daniel will be thinking is like, well, Renegade's a badass, but... Like, Apparently, whenever it matters, it doesn't. You know, he takes one hit and he goes down. He's a one hitter quitter. Like seriously, Vader just levels both of them. And then while this is going down, and Anderson and uh, Flair are working over Savage, uh, Angelo Poffo, who is uh, Macho Man's father, who was sitting at ringside, and I think he was probably inducted earlier in the night. Uh, he runs in. Now, you gotta remember, he's, oh, he didn't run in. He, he's seventy. He uh, he got in the ring and he's pleading with him to you know leave, leave him alone. Well, then of course Anderson grabs him, and they start beating the shit out of him. Uh, Flair just laying into him, and then Flair throws on the figure four. Uh, and if I can lie, like, Angela, I'm not sure if he really was that frail looking or if he was an act because he's, you know, whatever. But dude, like, he, he, he took the figure four. He took the, you know, getting knocked out at the bump down. And everything. I was like, holy shit, like, I hope he's not frail as he's pretending to be. Uh, anyways, uh, they... Three or four him, and then of course by the time Savage recovers and the other heel or the other faces recover, the heels hightailed out of there. Of course, it sets up the pay per view for next month, uh, and that's how we end the end the show right there. Um, I like this match. Uh, once again, I mean it's it's really funny that like, and I've always been true blue WWF to the bone, and no, like this. At least in '95, it got it got really shitty. <laughs> like it's just like, uh, come on. '94 uh, is kind of getting there. Undertaker was enough to kind of not completely make me turn against it. But uh, I'm just noticing that when I'm reviewing the matches back to back like this, going in order, I'm thinking to myself, I probably more WCW at this point if I was at least I don't know maybe at this age. I don't know about then because I don't know you're a kid, you're stupid, you just go with whatever you're given. Uh, I don't know though. Hogan, I'm, I'm sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have been a big Renegade fan if I was a kid. Like, why wouldn't I be? I'm ten years old. I wouldn't give a shit. Um, but no, this match, like I said, it, it works. I mean, it, I, there ain't much highlights to it other than I guess the the last part of it. But uh, you know, not nitpicking the Renegade and you know this shit like that. It's a decent match. It really is. I think it works on you know any level. Um, yeah. What else can you really say about it? I thought, I thought it was good. It worked. I mean. I keep saying that. That's how you know I have nothing else to say about when I'm just repeating the same two, three phrases. Uh, yeah, so I liked it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought about that awesome slamboree tag team match from 95. Uh, that's all I got, guys. Tune in tomorrow night. Uh, what are we doing tomorrow night? We're doing Great American Bash. That's right. So uh, tune in for that. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And
Till next time.